Hirashimasei! Welcome to The Art of Comics. Today's a special episode because I normally don't do this. I don't really talk about books. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about a book that I just read <clears throat> called Cinema Speculation by Quentin Tarantino. And um, many of you guys know I just finished editing my documentary uh, feature and it was a great experience. It's very harrowing there's a lot of work to do but i finished it and now i'm kind of on this whole movie kick and uh i have been a fan of quentin tarantino's work since i think pulp fiction was the first movie of his i saw and then of course reservoir dogs and then everything since then and i've kind of went in and out of my tarantino phase but recently i kind of like got back into him and uh, i decided to read this book and we'll probably do a um, Pulp Fiction at some point review because I just actually watched it last night. Um, Cinema Speculation is his latest book. What I really enjoyed about this was it is a combination of two things. One, it is film analysis of the 70s, which he is kind of a product of. Um, he was born in the 60s, but you know, all his movie, the love as a teenager and as a kid were the early 70s, late 70s. So, and he is a guy who made little uh, index cards of the movie, where he saw it, all that kind of stuff. So he has a encyclopedic mind on film. Clearly when you watch his movies, they're mashups of all these films and moments that he loves. So it's part that it's part film analysis of the 70s movies and also uh, sprinkled in his history and his kind of experience watching a lot of these movies. I learned terms called revengeomatics. You know, I knew, of course, about black exploitation, things like that, but revengeomatic, never heard about that. Uh, and what I did was I went through and I highlighted actually uh, all these different movies that he mentions. And I have them on a list now, and I'm going to go through and watch Cornbread, and Devil and Miss Jones, and the movie Joe, and Five Easy Pieces, which I did see, Airport, Love Story. There's all these movies that he kind of goes through as he an analyzes uh, the films. He goes through um, some of the classic ones that we might know of. Uh, he talks about... Um, Bullet, of course, so there's a whole Steve McQueen, talks about Dirty Harry, uh, he goes through hardcore, he talks about the, the, uh, the different film groups, right? The New, the new Hollywood, The Brats, uh, the movie Getaway, which is another really great movie, the movie The Outfit, so he goes through the Parker book, the Parker books, um, Sisters, so Brian De Palma, um, just all these different films, Taxi Driver, of course, Scorsese, um, really enjoyed this, Rolling Thunder, another good movie. So I enjoyed learning about the production of the film, what the film was doing, the background, thoroughly, heavily researched, all in the context also of where he was at the time. So he grew up single parent mother, as him and his mom lived with some other gals and uh, he'd go to the movies, you know, and he would have some friends. He had some uh, associates and friends that were uh, black men older than him that would take him to the, the matinee or the movies on a weekend. And he'd see a bunch of movies downtown L.A. or the Twin Paradise or these different little spots. And... Um, it was really cool to kind of get that little bit of personal element to the analysis um, and learn about like all these behind the scenes production kind of things about the script, about, you know, um, Harrison, not Harrison Ford, uh, Clint Eastwood, Steve McQueen, all these different characters and how films came to be and how the what was on the printed page versus what was in the theater was different, right? And those differences. and he goes into where he feels very strongly about this was great in the movie or man the script was better here or the producer really screwed this up and so if you're a film nerd if you like filmmaking and the process of filmmaking and what needs to go through that i think this is a great book 
um, specially honed it on the 70s because it's really going through those like 12 movies or so and sprinkled without everything that's uh, attached to those. Um, yeah, I learn, you learn about um, Schrader, John Milius, uh, Scorsese, uh, De Palma, uh, Don Siegel, uh, Flynn, all these different um, directors and writers back then. And it was really, really good. So there you go. I don't need to talk more about it. I'm going to sell it to you. <laughs> Uh, Quentin Tarantino, Cinema Speculation. Really enjoyed this. We're going to do some more videos coming up soon, but I thought this would be kind of nice to share this with you. If you're into film, check it out. I have my list of movies I'm watching, and I'll review some more of those with you later. And I'm also reading this little, whoa, this little manga here. I'll be reviewing this uh, either this week or next week. I'm almost done with it, but um, this is a really fun manga, so we'll do that next. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Check out uh, my Patreon below in the link, and you'll see what I'm working on in my kind of creative ventures. Thanks, guys.